All right, guys, how you doing? All right, so this video, I've been asked as well, well a few people about this as well, is how to set up an eBay account and uh, start selling, really, and what's the best way to sell in, what's not, and uh, even most importantly, the postal as well, yeah, so how to deliver stuff, cheapest way, and it's obviously to save you money and make you money as well, okay? So, gonna go get cracking into it, and uh, I'll show you from there. So, obviously, the first thing you do is go to Google. And obviously, uh, let's go to sign up eBay. Okay, simple as that, sign up eBay account. It'll take you to an eBay eBay website, and it'll say you can sign up for a, a new account. So you do that, and you'll get this page here, yeah? So when you're on this page here, this when you start doing all your stuff, all right, and then you can make your account, okay? Very simple, okay, even people that don't really use computers or hate technology, and I'm blaming it. This one's quite simple, so obviously, when you're on this page here, you just put your name, obviously, so here, you put whatever name you want really, you don't have to put real name either, yeah? So, just put whatever you want. Put a name here, surname, email. Email, well, it's got to be a real, real email, so you can't put a fake one, obviously. But you need to confirm it, yeah? So just put uh, any email you want, whatever you have. Because you'll need it to confirm, obviously, so just put that. Make your own password up. So, do an email again. So, password. So, we've done all this stuff here. So, like I said, you know, name, that's your real name. It's up to you, put your email, because you need to confirm it. Then your password. Then register. Then we've done this. Give you straight to your, your site here, yeah? Okay? So it's quite quick. So, like I said, yeah, there's no confirming really. I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, it, before you could be confirming, but now it's quick. So it's nice and easy for you. So now you need you need to what I did now. So your name, surname, like I said, it definitely real. You can make it up. It's all right. Um, email definitely. I need that definitely, yeah. For a confirmation, obviously, they're going to send you emails from eBay anyway when you sell stuff. So you need email, okay? Definitely valid email. And uh, obviously, a password, and you're in. Okay, now here, when you see your little um, profile here, go underneath, you've got account settings, you can change your name from there. Alright, so account settings, let's say personal details, you press that, then you can change, yeah, so I'll show you now. Account settings, so personal information, okay, I'll show you all the rest of it in a minute, okay, so personal information, you press on that, you have to sign in the game. So, so obviously your name's there already, or your email, whatever. Um, just put your password you did before. Uh, well, the phone number you have to put, you know, it's up to you, but really, just press continue. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, okay, this one you do have to put it. I don't know why. Before I never did, so that's what we do again. Any bloody any address for now? That'll do. Okay, so before you never had to do that at all, really. But you know, obviously it's all new now. You may keep changing. Even PayPal now. They used to work, they used to work with PayPal. So when you get paid, you get paid through PayPal, yeah. And now they wiped that completely clean. Now they don't work anymore. So now you get paid in your bank account. Which I'll show you how that works as well, okay? So, anyway, this is the personal information now. So, you signed in back again, just see, uh, secure. So, now that's your username. Now, they give you one automatic automatic anyway, yeah? So, they just chuck one in for you. But you can change it. So, obviously, you edit here, you can change it, okay? 
So obviously, like I said, you got like a whole month. You got to wait to change your names, but that's fine. So obviously here, you can change whatever you want. So here, we can just change it quick. So I can give you information on it. So again, because you're changing the name, you got to get a password again. That's nice pain in your ass, but this is how it is. Secure anyway, it's good. Okay, so now that's changed. Okay, so now you got your own username, whatever username you picked. Okay, so that's your own one. It's good. So that's all done. Uh, the account account type, leave it as individual. That means it's you. You're not a company or business, so individual. There's your email, if you want to change it, again you can change it, okay? Now you've got to verify now, yeah? Like I said, you've got to confirm now, okay? So to make sure it's you, no one else using your account. Alright, then you've got your phone number here, you can change that as well, okay? So, let's just verify the email. So let's send you a code, so you just check your email and your so your code. So here it is, that's our email, I'll set up. That's the username, we know already, it's done. Just let us, let us know, it's all done, okay. And let's do obviously when you signed up, so they show you the email, you know, welcome to eBay stuff, so that's normal. That's your code, alright. So there's your code there. Copy and paste it. We can write it, paper or something, or write it in, but it's easy to copy and paste it really. So you go back to your eBay, type the code in. Verify, and that's it. You're done. Okay, so now it knows your email. It knows that you are you. No one else is using your account. So now you're all secure. Yeah. So eBay's pretty good. They are quite secure. And to make sure that you're okay as well. Yeah. Okay. So that's our email. Done. Okay. We'll leave it open anyway, just in case. Right. That's your personal details done now. So your own name, your own email, and obviously your number there, and. That's pretty much all, all, all you need to do, yeah? And obviously your address as well, okay? Obviously you put the real address, otherwise you're not going to get stuff delivered, are you, really? If you buy stuff. <laughs> but this is just for, like I said, showing you demonstration anyway, yeah? This is any old address anyway, alright? Now, this is important, yeah? Payment options. So how you get paid, yeah? And how you want to pay for stuff anyway. But paying, how to get paid, you definitely need to get this done. Otherwise, like I said, when you sell stuff, you can't get paid, right? Now it's an automatic, uh, automatic payment method, yeah? So obviously this is when they take their fees, they take about 10%, okay? So we'll leave that for now. So that's the personal stuff we've done already. Okay. What we'll do, we'll go to account settings again. Let's go to payments, alright? Now here, it should show you, like okay, how you want to get paid, alright? So there you go. So here, this is when I said, yeah, when you, get, when you sell something, you'll get paid, yeah? So you get paid straight into your bank account. So it has to be a bank account, obviously not paper anymore. It's quite annoying. That was easier, but it's fine. So now bank account. You put a payment. A payment option now here. Obviously you do your credit cards or your debit cards, so your NetWest, Metro, whatever you got, yeah. So you do all this, okay? So obviously you'll say you know the account number, sort code, and your name, yeah. So you do all this and then it's saved on there. Okay, it'll definitely it'll say straight away saved. And then your bank account will show in there, your card, yeah, all your details and that. So now you can get paid, all right? So that's your bank account, all done. I mean, I can't do it here because I've done a bit of card details, obviously. But anyway, you, you get the idea, yeah? So just put your bank account details in there, sort code, account number, and your name, yeah? So when you've done that, you save it, and it'll be automatic on there all the time, done, yeah? So then now you've got a, a payment method where you're going to get paid into your account, okay? So now you can start selling stuff now. Right, so that's all the payments, how you get paid and stuff, alright? And I showed you the personal details, how to do your own name, username and stuff like this, alright? So it's pretty straightforward, alright? So that's that, that's how you do your stuff, yeah? Okay, now what I'm gonna do now, now you've got eBay set up and stuff, how to get paid, your bank account, your name and stuff, yeah, alright? That's how easy it is to set up an eBay account, alright? Then what I'm gonna do now is show you how to sell stuff, okay? Most importantly, yeah? So what we do, we get out of that, get out of that as well. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to 
Go to my account now, so I can show you how to sell stuff, okay? Very simple. Okay, so this is my account, obviously. So I'm going to show you how to sell stuff easily, okay? Alright? What you do, very simple. Now you've got two ways, yeah? There's auction and there's a fixed price. So I'm going to tell you all this how to do it, okay? Very simple, alright? So, obviously, if you want to sell stuff, it's very simple. The sell button's here, just press that. So when you sell, when you put the sell button, it'll take you straight to this little screen here. Okay, now, I know it looks like complicated, like a lot of things on there, you know, little titles and stuff. Here's a lot, a lot of things on there, but just concentrate on the basic stuff, yeah? So, obviously, we're trying to sell something, right? So, go to listings, because it's going to be a listing, yeah? And it's simple, go to create a listing, okay? So, you press on that. Right, now, before we start, I just want to say something now, yeah? Before you sell anything, make sure you've got pictures of the item that you want to sell ready, okay? Saving your computer so you can just trans, you know, upload it on there straight away, yeah? So you need pictures taken straight away, yeah, of every angle of your item, whatever you want, okay? From your phone's better, yeah? Um, if you do like from the Google, you know, I used to do Google pictures from there, copy and paste, it's crap because the picture quality is rubbish and then eBay won't accept it either. It'll say too small. So don't make that mistake either before. So take your pictures on the phone, it's easier. You've got all the uh, angles of the item you're going to sell, so you're all ready now, yeah? And also, um, if you've got WordPad, which most of, you, most, most of you have, so you just get WordPad, this is called, it's really important, it's how you sell the item, okay? You've got to do a description. So you're going to be talking about your item, what you're going to sell. So obviously, make sure you mention the weight of it, the size, length, width, all that stuff, alright? So I'll show you quick. This is what I've done already, but also I'm going to show you how to sell stuff right now, how to do an item. So here, just write all your stuff, what you're going to sell, okay? Uh, measurements, you name it, yeah? And then uh, you can just copy and paste that in the description, it's so much easier than then writing it from scratch, alright? So it's an easy way of doing it, yeah? Use WordPad or Notepad. I think WordPad's easier because you can do a lot more in it, yeah? Add pictures as well, yeah? So that's your description, get it ready as well, yeah? Write it down before you even upload everything, yeah? So pictures taken on your phone of whatever you're selling, and description, just put it on the WordPad, all the stuff, write it all, yeah? Measurements. Or every detail, yeah. Now, the more you put, the better for you, yeah. People take it seriously. They think, okay, it's cool, and they'll end up wanting to buy it. Now, some people just put like one sentence saying, right, I oh, know hammer. So one to one sentence saying that, people won't look at it and think, oh, it's obviously it's crap. So they won't go to it at all, really. They'll go somewhere else to the next listing, all right. So make sure you definitely describe it in full, yeah. The more detail, the better for you, yeah. Plus, you won't get any more questions. See what I mean? So you've pretty much got everything there for someone. I must have buy this item. Okay, so the more you do put, the better. And if you pictures too, the more you have, the better. You can have 12 pictures, okay, for free. All right. Now, if you want to add more, I mean, 12 is enough. You don't need more than that. But if you do want more, you better probably charge you, I think, 20 pence or 50 pence. Yeah, a little fee, as always. But 12 pictures it is enough, believe me. Yeah. So the more pictures and the more description you have, the better for you. Okay. Right. So. Right now I'm going to sell some myself, so it's going to be easier anyway. So here, what I'm going to show you first, there's two ways, right? Now you can sell a single item, so just one item, you want to sell, and that's it, okay? Easy as that. And then I'm going to show you how to sell multiple items, yeah? Okay? That's a bit more detail, but it's fine. I'll do it as easy as I can, so you know what to do, yeah? So first one is to sell just one item, a single item, okay? So what I'm going to do today is just sell a four-way adapter. Simple little thing, yeah? So I'm going to show you now, so you know what to do, yeah? Now, when you put your item, it's going to give you like a little list of other stuff that's similar, yeah? Now, don't press any of these, yeah? Okay? Because it'll be hassle, because then what, what are you going to do? eBay are going to think, okay, we'll we, we just get this item from here and chuck it on. Now, you can't do description for your own, and you can't, you know, it just messes you up. So, really, don't get confused with all this crap here, yeah? That's other people's stuff. So, so what you do, go all the way down, and it will say, continue without selecting a product. Okay, so this one here is the one you want, alright? This one you can edit and do whatever you want, your own item, okay? So, there's our title, four-way adapter socket, okay? Now, the more you put as well, better, so I'll just put a bit more information here, quick. Okay. 
we have like a spell. Okay. So that's our item done now. All right. Now, what I do as well. Sometimes it will just uh, choose what category it's under. Yeah, but I think it's better to choose your own because you know what it is, what it is. Yeah. Now, see, it'll be this one here or this one here. So we're going to go with this one here. Now, when you press the old category, which is really important as well, it help people find your item. Okay. Um, so that's done now. You can put a subtitle by the way. Make it look flashier and stuff, but you don't need to. I mean, that will charge you a fee. Look at it, two quid. So ignore that. Ignore this. Do the title and then do your category. Okay. So that's done now. So people can find my item. Now here, E A N. You don't have to put it really. Yeah. Some you do, some you don't. But really, basic stuff you don't need to put it at all. So leave it blank, or just put. Should normally say um you know uh, N A, not applicable. Okay. So ignore that. So leave it blank. It's fine. Now condition. You can't lie in this, yeah. So if it's new, say brand new. If it's not, say used, yeah. Now if it is used, just put um excellent condition or refurbish or whatever, yeah. Make it sound a bit more better, yeah. So in this one, I'm going to say new, all right. Because brand new is in the bag and stuff like this, all right. So that's done. So yeah, if it's used, just put ex excellent condition or left in storage, okay. So it's still in good condition and it's good, all right. Be honest, but not too honest, yeah. Otherwise, how are you going to sell it? <laughs> Now, the pictures, what I said before, yeah, you can have 12 pictures, like I said, for free, yeah, alright? So, we're at our pictures here, so we do this quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, here we are. Now, I've only, I've only got one, so I want to just show you a demo, yeah, just how to do it quick, and that's it, yeah? But you should add more, the better for you, okay? So, that's your picture all done now, okay? So what I'm going to do now, this important stuff, okay, so like I said, most stuff are unbranded or they got a brand, if they've got, if they've got, if they've got a brand, then definitely just put it on there, okay, so the more you do, the better, like I said, alright, but most stuff you can put in the description anyway, yeah, so people look at this and know what they're buying anyway, okay, but the more, like I said, the more you put, the better, alright, so here we do this quick, okay, so Okay. Okay. Look, 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 for you, you don't have to fill everything in, just fill the basics, and that's it, yeah. Okay. All right. So really, that's enough. Really, we'll leave that for now. Should be fine. I will do this quick here. So it should be thirteen A. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's enough, right? So I've watched you be there forever. So I mean, yeah. Now this is what I said before the description. This is how you sell the product or item you got, yeah. So. The more you put, the better, like I said, alright? So, what I said before, do a word pad, do all the details as much as you can, and then you've got to just copy and paste it. So, you're right here from scratch, it's going to take you ages, yeah? So, do the advanced settings, okay? This one is better, you can do more colour, you can make it look nice, yeah? And add pictures as well if you want, okay? Don't have to, but it's up to you, alright? So, here, what we're going to do is go on our word pad, and when we've got our adapter thing here, okay, you just copy and paste it. All right. Simple copy and paste is there. All right. Then when you've done this, obviously this one you can uh, edit and do whatever you want. Okay. Make it look good, better, whatever you want. All right. So it's very simple. It's quite easy to do as well. Yeah. So you can play around with this. Make it bold, italic, underline, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Put some color to it. Make it look stand out more. Okay. Make it bolder. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. So I'll just do this quick. So I'll just give you an idea how to make a play around with it. Okay, so obviously you've got your title here. 
uh, the brand, I know it's up there already, but you can put it here. So like I said, you put a moxie can on here, yeah? It's when people see it, all right? Okay. So I'm gonna make it sound, stand a bit more. So there you go, yeah? Now this one here, I know it looks not much, but it's enough on there, yeah? I make it bold as well, okay? You don't want tiny writing, otherwise people have glasses to look at it. Not gonna be good, so make it bold, make it stand out, okay? So, there we go, it's nice and simple, all right? Now, like I said, put as much as you can there, yeah? The length of the stuff, the weight, everything, yeah? The power, wattage, all that stuff, put on there, yeah? So, then we've got our picture, or the item, and then we've got our description. That's it. So now we come here, this is when it comes important, okay? Now, like I said, yeah, you've got a fixed price, and you've got auction style, all right? Now, if you do auction style, obviously people are going to be uh, bid on this, yeah? Um, so like I said, yeah, it depends on what people like. Like I said, it, it's up to you, yeah? But put the price on how much you how much you would want to sell it, all right? Don't put too low, like some of these, like I've seen people put 99p. You know, obviously that's not good because they think people are going to be, you know, dying to buy it and make money. It doesn't work like that because it's like a 50-50 if people want it or not. So it's up to you, yeah? But definitely the minimum, just put how much you'd want to sell it for, okay? So obviously for this, I'm going to put here, like I said, about six quid, okay, for this little adapter here. Don't put less than that, otherwise you make the money. Because remember, you've got to send it as well, yeah? Now, also, add the, pro the postage uh, in the price, okay? So always put free postage, yeah? But you're adding the postage into the price anyway, yeah? Okay? So um, it will sell better. Because some people, they put price for the item and the postage too, yeah? Like, I don't know, five pounds for this uh, four-way thing I'm doing now the um, adapter and then postage three quid people won't buy that because now they're thinking crap I've got to buy the item and pay as well to get it sent to me so it'll put them off believe me trust me I've been doing this a long time now 13 years so I know it works honestly yeah so yeah, it's a bit free postage but add the postage price because you know how much going to have a sender yeah how much going to send so add that in the price okay so six seven quid I think there's enough yeah because you're adding the postage in there okay so you're losing nothing now, it's fine. And then you've got free postage, which people want to see, all right? Now, auction, okay? Come here, get 10 days, all right? So 10 days, they give you, put it on online for an auction, all right? After 10 days, they, they will relist it for free, for you, yeah? So you don't see nothing about it, okay? They relist it for you, if they don't, if they don't sell. And then that's it. So you've got two, you've got two ways, really, yeah? So you, you put it on auction, if you don't sell, it'll relist anyway, yeah? eBay put it on there for you for free. And if you don't sell again, then obviously they'll take it off. That means you've got to relist it again yourself, all right? So that's the auction, okay? So you put your starting price here. So obviously this, the price you want to sell it for, so say a tenner or seven quid, whatever you want to do. And that's it. At least you won't lose nothing, and then you got it here, yeah? Now, if people want to buy it, those people at auction, that's when the price goes up, which is good. That's how you make the money more, yeah? But just in case you don't, you know, not selling really well, you know, people don't want to buy it, loads of people coming in to buy it, but it's going to sell it for that single price anyway, yeah? So you've got nothing to lose there. Also, you've got to buy now price, yeah? So obviously, you know, people are bidding for this, but someone wants to buy it outright quick, yeah? You can put the price here. This one, you've got to put it like, you know, 40% a bit more, okay? So again, you're going to sell it more, so it's nice, but again, it depends if people want it or not, okay? Also, if you do buy now price, uh, you'll get charged a fee of 50p, yeah, when you do your listing, okay? So bear in mind, that's all the fees there as well, yeah? Okay, obviously quantity as well, how many you're selling? One, two, three, but as much as you, whatever you're selling, okay? In this instance, we're selling one, so it's put one, leave us one. Now also here, you can do best offer, so if you're selling this for like seven quid, yeah? This adapter we're doing now, yeah? You can put uh, <coughs> best offer, so then people can offer you how much they want, now that's a pain in the bum sometimes because obviously some of them can take the piss. So obviously we're doing it seven quid now for this adapter. Some people might say, well no, I'll give you two quid for it or three quid. You see what I mean? So then you've got to message now each other and you know, it's a pain in the ass really. So it's up to you. If you want to make it the do a best offer, it's up to you. I'll show you quick. So if you press that, now here yeah, which is okay because now you can decline them without doing nothing anyway, yeah? So easier for you. So obviously here, yeah, obviously you put a price here which you accept. So seven quid we're doing this for you. Yeah? You can put six quid or six fifty. So 
at least you know if they offer, offer you a price it will be accepted if they offer the right price there 650 or whatever yeah obviously now here is what I like yeah you, uh, it will automatically decline anyone who tries to take the, take, take the piss you know what I mean so like, if they say I oh, know two or three quid eBay will kick them out saying no okay so you're, at least you're covered there yeah no hassle nothing right so just put here if you want to any price you want to decline and if it lower than five quid or six quid that's it they'll kick them off saying no we can't accept it so you're all you're covered here so it's fine but it's up to you if you want to do that or not yeah i'll say if we're doing a fixed price it's better because obviously you sell something for a whole month to give you 30 days for a fixed price by the way yeah so 10 days for auction 30 days for a fixed price yeah so if you don't sell in a month relist it again it'll be for free as well yeah relist another whole month so then you can do a best offer yeah and again do that that's what i'll do here what i showed you here yeah so obviously i don't know 650 or whatever bit it down a bit and anything lower than a certain price it won't be accepted okay you'll reject them straight away so at least you're covered there yeah okay so if you want to set it quick yeah do a fixed price it's what i do normally get things done quick yeah you should get the money then and that's it done all right now just start listing quick straight away yeah don't don't click this one here schedule it's like a certain time you want to list it you don't have to do it's hassle really so leave that just do start straight away yeah so we're going to do the price here okay how much it's going to sell for yeah so we're going to sell this for say seven quid all right so again make sure you add the postage price in that okay so this is going to cost me looking at three quid to send it okay so just remember this in the price as well okay so obviously now I'm gonna sell this for like four quid pretty much all right so if you know if you want to do it for more it's up to you yeah so what I do actually I'm gonna sell this for eight quid all right so I make a bit more really so I make about you know five quid that's enough now that's our price done now a fixed price okay you want to set it quick okay what we do now leave all this here this is about the you know, donation stuff and nothing and private listing don't do that so leave this okay otherwise too much to think about too much hassle to fill in now most important is delivery now yeah like i said free postage definitely okay now here you've got a whole list yeah first class second class you've got signed for now it depends how much it is if it's like a watch or something or something expensive uh say anything more than 50 quid or something or a bit more i would guarantee definitely put signed for okay because then if it gets lost or whatever, at least you're covered. Okay? So sign for is definitely one to do. Okay? So it means I've got to sign for it. Because some buyers, I know it's a bit cheeky, some of them say, no, I haven't got it. I didn't receive it. So really, how, how can you prove it? See what I mean? Because you just done second class or first class send, and that's it. So you don't know if they've got it or not. Yeah? They could have it, but they're lying to you. So you've got to be careful. Yeah? So second class sign for is probably the best one I would do. Okay? Now they can pay you a bit more free PayPal to get it done, I don't know, quick, if they're urgent, you're like first class, yeah, um, which is cool, you know, as long as they pay for it, you know, you get paid in your PayPal account, yeah, they paid you for the extra postage cost, then do it, no problem, but if they're not, you know, if they're not bothered, you know, they're waiting to receive it, just come, then uh, just do second class, that's why I do all the time, it takes two or three days to get there, it's cheapest for you to send as well, so just go for that, right, so again, if it's anything more than 50 quid, do sign for okay I would okay just to protect yourself as well yeah I mean this one's eight quid I'm not bothered really so second class we just do that okay right so that's done now also you can do offer offer the local collection so they can come and collect it from you I mean it's good because that'll save you posting as well yeah so you're making more money still now yeah but most of them don't do that most of them live far away yeah like four or five hours drive you know Yorkshire whatever yeah you know they live anywhere far away from you so most of them will want it delivered anyway but in case they want to come and collect it themselves live locally just uh, tick this one here okay right now most important as well this one here okay the flat same cost of buyers this is like for post so second class first class you send it yeah now if you've got something heavy like I don't know, an appliance like a microwave a fridge <laughs> or I don't know a scooter yeah obviously they're more heavier stuff and bulky stuff I would say local collection only yeah you click that then that's it that means they have to come and get it okay it's too big to send too heavy a bit more expensive right so you just put that that's only collection only yeah they have to come and get it so anything big or massive and heavy I would pick this one here all right that means they have to come and get it from you okay 
So at least you know what to do now. So this one here is to send it, just normal post, you know, small items, whatever. Just do that one there. But if it's big and massive and heavy, it's going to cost you a lot of money to send it. Don't do that, just put collection only here. Okay, so if you do that, there you go, collection only, okay? Alright. Now, so could we send something small? We can just do the, the flat cost, yeah? Flat, you know, same cost to all buyers to see, right? So we can do this again quick. Second class. Free postage. Okay, done. Okay, now, when you've done this, okay? So you've done the second class now. Free postage, most important. Now, here, which is good, you've got a global shipping program. So, in other words, not just UK. Anyone from France, Spain, Germany, any, everywhere in the world, yeah, that can buy your item as well. So put global shipping program, yeah. Now what I like about this, yeah, it's really good, all right. Now here, when I first done this, I thought when I sell it, someone's from China or France, or whatever, or Spain, that means I've got to send it to them now, and because it's abroad, international shipping is going to cost money, more money, yeah, than here. Now here, you eBay look after you really well. What they do when you sell this item, say someone's from Spain or France or China, you don't send it to them. What you do, you send it to the UK address. eBay will give you a UK address, all right? Now, when it goes to that UK address, eBay will send it themselves to the the buyer from a different country, okay? So really, they'll charge you just the UK cost. So it's so much easier for you, yeah? And then obviously the buyer will have to pay that international cost to them, okay? So it's good. So you look it after. See what I mean? So remember this, yeah? Always tick that. So that's good, yeah. You covered both then, yeah. UK sellers, uh, buyers, and international as well, yeah. So that's good. Now here you can put this in, but it's hassle. We'll leave that because all the measurements will be in the descrip description anyway, yeah. All right. So leave that. Got away the bomb here, and that's pretty much it. I mean, this is how you sell a single item. Is it that easy? Okay. Now before you list it, which is good, yeah. Preview it, so they can see what it looks like and how it's gonna sell, yeah. So if you're happy with it, that's when you go and list it, all right? So the preview button's pretty cool. You can check it all, make sure it's spelled correctly, that you're happy with the picture. The price here, you know, your second class, all done here. Okay. List your description, so make sure you, you, you know, you've done everything you can. And that's it. Now, if you miss anything out, okay, this why preview's good. Just go out of it, and then just go back to, um, just go back over here and edit. Here, whatever you want, edit fill everything in and then it's all done alright so the preview is a good way of checking that you've done everything perfect alright now when you're happy you've done all this alright the description's fine the picture's fine the price is okay and delivery's all done uh, just list it so here now we're going to list it now so you've done everything now so that's how easy it is to list something here yeah? I've seen that sometimes it will say you missed out something alright like uh, here dispatch time <laughs> I missed it so obviously just pull it in I think I'm rushing this, just showing you quick, that's why I missed it. <laughs> that's fine. So here you just put two or three days because it's second class. Something simple, so I mean. Uh, and that's it. So that's all done now. You can list it. Alright. So now when you list it, we'll just say, there you go, you've done it, and then there you go. Like this, see? So you list it, now, now your items are the same now, yeah? Everyone can see it in the whole world. So that's it now. So you've 30 days now, because fixed price, a whole month now. So it's on there for a whole 30 days now, okay? When it sells, obviously um, check your eBay, it will give you a notification saying it's, you know, it's paid, post now. So when it's paid, like I said, this one you start sending it, yeah? Uh, and I'll show you how to do that as well, no problem. So when it's done, that's it, it's finished. Now you can view it, have a look at it, but you know, we saw a preview, so we know, we know what it looks like anyway, yeah? So now just put finished, because you're done now. So now you've sold your first item, okay? Now here, go to listeners again. Active, yeah, is that all your all your stuff you're selling, okay? So you can find it there, your stuff that you're selling, and then you can view it from there, all right? So at least now you, you know you've got your, your active listing now, okay? So, that's how you sell a single item, okay? Very simple, yeah? Now, what I'm going to show you now is how to sell multiple items, okay? Now, yeah, it's a bit more complicated, but it is, I'll make it as simple as I can, all right? So again, what we do... Go to listings again. Oh, so hang on a minute. Right, like I said before, yeah, that single item we saw, uh, we put up now, okay, listed now. When it sells, what you do, you go straight to orders, okay. So orders here is all the stuff that you sold, okay. So when you press that, it will show you what you sold, 
and also it'll give you the address where to send it to okay so what I do I might have one already here so I'll show you quick yeah right so this is what I sold yesterday okay little disc here now obviously say print postage here you don't have to do that at all so leave that just go here all right now you've got all the information you need here okay so if you want to send it like you send it like you say you want to send it now you just press mark as dispatched and it will tell the tell the buyer that you've um you sent it already now okay um and that's it really yeah you can add the tracking number but it depends what it is yeah like i said if it's over 50 quid it's expensive do the sign for yeah post office and uh keep that tracking number and then give it to them okay so that's that, that one there yeah now if you want to talk to the buyer just just to say hello i've sent your item now just press that contact buyer all right now when you send it and the person's not happy with it or you know any issues whatever crap here you get the bottom here you can send a refund to them just in case all right so at least you've got all the details here that you need yeah now the order details when you press that it will show everything about the transaction okay all right so it's easy but really also leave feedback as well yeah because the more stars you got the more people look at your you know your your seller ability right much better for you you put postage here okay it will say the item also it will give the address right here okay obviously eBay will give you you know certain things like yeah the postcode don't sound right but this just put change it for me change for me and it's all done see what I mean yeah so like eBay trying to help you out because the address here yeah but anyway that's the address here that's why you send your item what you sell okay so it'll tell you what you sold anyway and where to send it to okay so just get that address put it on your parcel whatever you've got yeah with your item inside and then send it all right so I'll tell you I'll tell you later on in a minute uh, about postage yeah how much it cost and the size and who to go with yeah okay right so that's that okay so it'll definitely tell you where to send it so you're all good all right now let's go to our listing because now we're going to do the multiple listing I told, like I told you yeah? so create a listing now this is when it gets like I said a bit complicated but I'm going to do it as much as I can and easy as I can step by step all right so here what we're going to do we're going to put just tools yeah so I'm going to put this one just do a quick tools again yeah don't bother with all this crap so go right in the bottom and select without like I said don't, don't select any of these stuff here go right in the bottom right so so tools so simple hand tools see that's already checked there for me so it's all good so we'll leave that it's all good now this is where it gets important okay now again the EAN you don't need that at all see it does not apply so just put that that's all good right now before you put pictures okay what you're going to do like I said before yeah okay one second because it should say the variation right what I'm going to do I'm going to change the description first quick on the why we do that hopefully that will give us the variation Oh, okay, one second. Now, see here is when it gets a bit complicated, but like I said, you'd have to do this bit because it's a straightforward one, the basic one, that's it. I'm just trying to check something here quick. Right. Okay, we'll click this one quick. There we go, variation, variation, right. Okay, it's because I didn't click this one here, that's why. Right, so, obviously category, just <laughs> make sure you select it, definite, otherwise you can't move on really, yeah, and miss out something as well. So just put that, with that here now, because it's just tools, that's it, handy tools, no problem. When that's done, okay, variation is the one you need, okay, this one you sell multiple items, okay. So we'll click that. Now, 
when you've done this, it'll give you like information here. Just uh, cross these because don't need them. Cause we can add our own ones, all right? Now, here is when you can tell people what to um, add your own one. Okay, it's easier. Okay. So you can, this, is, this is when you tell people, you know, like um, I know, um, choose your color or choose what tool. Because we're sending tools here now, I'm going to put choose what tool, okay? So they'll give them a title saying choose what tool you want, and there will be a drop down menu, and they choose which one they want, okay? So, we just do this quick. So, here is choose what tool, very simple. So, that's our little title now, yeah? Okay? So that's our head title, what they'll see, yeah? On the list, okay? Then the drop down menu, and then we're going to do our own ones down here, yeah? So, now here is where you're going to put down what you're selling, each item, each tool, yeah? So this one here, we're going to put... So we've got a mini hammer, that one here. Add that. So there he goes here, all right? Then add the rest of them, so we're going to add the, the rest. Okay. Well, I think that's it. That should be all of them. Right, let's just check quick. No, nope, and case. Okay. Yep, and case. Right. So, like I said, that's good to have that word pad because you've got all the stuff there you're going to sell, yeah? So, you can go back to it and look what you need, yeah? Okay. Okay, so that's our stuff. So we've got a title already, okay? Choose what tool you want, and then they'll put all the stuff that you're gonna sell, okay? So all this now is gonna be sent down the bottom. So I'm gonna show you now, yeah? When that's all done, okay? Let's continue. Now, here, so I'll tell you how many how many items you're selling. So seven we're doing this one, yeah? Okay. Now here's when you put all the all the pictures, all right? So really important, okay? So again, make sure you've got it on your phone, you've uploaded all your pictures, so you can send them here, all right? So here, add photos. So when you're here, you're going to add all your stuff you're selling, all right? So here, just hold down the uh, control key, obviously, in the keyboard, you know, simple thing, and select every single one of them, all right? Okay. So now you to upload all the photos, okay? I mean, without the photos, you can't really sell nothing, really, yeah? Some people don't put no photos at all, which is weird because, you know, you, you have no idea what you're buying now, yeah? If it looks good or not, or good condition, or whatever, yeah. So, definitely upload photos, right? Okay, that's the main photo here, so we'll leave that there. All the other bits are here, yeah. Now, important you need these, yeah. I'm going to show you why in a minute. So, when that's done, we're going to come here, yeah. Now, that's our items we're selling, okay. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to do it, so leave that crap, it's fine. Here, you do the price and the quantity, okay. So, we're selling one of each. And the price we're going to put here in a minute, yeah? Now, the picture, obviously, yeah? You can add your own picture, alright? So, you go here, yeah? You use default picture, okay? So here, which is easier, you're going to add the picture that you want for each tool, or each item you're selling, yeah? Necklace, whatever you're doing, yeah? So here, we're doing a hammer, alright? So what you do, you can select the hammer one, Uh, and that's it. So now, that's our picture for this one here. That's done. So now we go to the next one. So we're doing level now. So we do this. Level is there. And there you go. That's done as well now, okay?
So you go to each one until you've done a photo for each one, and so then the person in the buyer can see it. All right. Okay. So again, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, you know. And the more you do it, the better. And you can list pretty much as much as you want. As many as many items as you want, really. So it's li limitless. So it's good. So let's make sure you got the pictures here, the title. I'll show you how to do the price in a minute. Because you definitely need that. Um, okay. okay, so now we're done. We've got a picture for each item now, okay? Which is important, alright? Now, there you go. So now we've got our items here the name, the picture, so everyone can see it now, yeah? What they're buying, alright? Again, you don't need to do this crap here, so we'll leave that. Quantity is one each. If you've got more, then put, I don't know, 50 or 100, whatever, how many you got, okay? So you put the quantity here. Price, you put the price and how much for each one, okay? So for this one, we're doing what the hammer, so... How about we do... Say a fiver, so leave that there. There you go, so it's all done already, okay? So level up we do now. We do a five of each one really, it's easier. Okay, so there we go, quantity, price, everything done. Okay, very simple. Okay, so now that's all done. And when you've done this, all of this, you press save and close. All right. So now you've done your list with all your items, everything now, okay? So that's all done for you now. Okay, so it's all here. So you choose what's all, seven variations, and all your bits and bobs there, yeah? Okay. Now, what you do here now, okay, description now, okay? It's got the brand, so whatever brand you're selling, okay? So for this in case, I'm doing tools, so Rolson, that's what we're doing. So put that in. Okay, bit of a delay there, I don't know why. Right, Rolson's there, so so tools. So we're not doing set, we're doing individuals, so expect tools, yeah. So tools. The material, I mean there's metal and plastic, so just put metal, you can put plastic here if you want. Or rubber, actually rubber. So Metal, okay. Also rubber. Okay. Uh, model, leave that alone. Number of pieces. Well, we've got seven. So we just put that there. Warranty, leave that. So it's not. Don't apply. It's fine. Now again, description. So you've got to put as much as you can here. Okay. So again, that word pad is really important. Without that. It's like you're doing it from scratch and it'll take you a long time, alright? So, let's copy and paste that. Done, alright? And again, yeah, here, just modify it, make it look better. So, make it bold, italic, uh, different colour, yeah, different size, whatever you want, okay? And your tools. The brand again. So here we're just doing really strong hammer. Again, yeah, size, length, it's important, okay? Let's look at how many you got, which helps. OK, 
Okay, so that's our listing now done. Okay, got your title, got your brand, and you got all the stuff that you're selling. All right. I mean, really, I make it a bit bigger, so it's good. The more, the more, the better. There we go. Okay, so that's all done now. Okay. Now, so the pictures are all done, description's done now, and that's it. So fixed price, I recommend is better. So leave on that. Okay. So obviously the price varies. Oh, the five pound each anyway, but it's all there. Okay, so leave that by there. You want fixed price now again? International ticket definitely because you never know abroad. Probably buy more than the UK, so click that definitely right. That global shipping program. Now the flat cost, yeah. So obviously we're adding. Remember, we're adding the price, the postage in the price. Okay, so leave that there. Okay, so. So it's in size, leave that because it's too much hassle, trust me. Now what are we doing here? We I mean after that you've got a list here, yeah, but again preview so you know you don't think perfect, okay? So preview it and there you go, alright? So there's our pictures here of all the all the stuff we're selling. Now here is our title, like I said, yeah. Okay, so the title's here, and it's that drop down menu here, alright? And of course five pound each really, yeah. I saw postage there, free, second class, all right. So, description's there as well. So, description's all good. It looks you happy with it. Then you're fine, yeah? All done. So, get out of that. And then now to list it. And that's it, you're done, pretty much. So, we've done single items, and we've done, like I said, little bits happen sometimes saying if you've got this, just fill it in quick. There we go. Now we're done. <laughs> so, now I'll show you how to do single items and I'll show you how to sell multiple items. Okay? Very easy. There you go, done. Okay? So, when it's done, that's it. Also, you've got an item number here, so it's good to have so you can check it yourself or get someone to look at. But that's all done now. So, now you've listed a single item and you've done a bundle. So, selling multiple items, alright? That's how easy it is to sell. Okay? And again, fixed price, so you know you've got a whole month, alright? To sell the stuff, right? So it's been finished, and that's it. You're done now. Pretty much done. Now, if you want to go and look at it, let's go to active. Okay, and you can find all your stuff that you're selling all here. Okay, that's all your stuff you're selling. How much for? And if you want, if you want to go edit it, then you edit from here. Okay. All right. So obviously I sell quite a lot, so that's why it always is here. I'll try and find that one on Douglas now. Just show you what it looks like. Yeah, I sell quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> there we go. So that's our stuff we don't just now, yeah? That's our socket, that's our bundle thing, yeah? So what I do, look at the bundle one now, the tools one. So I'll see here what I showed you here, yeah? Is what tool you want to sell, yeah? Okay, that's all your pictures here. You're done, right? See what I mean? So what they do, they click which one they want. See what I mean? It shows you, yeah? Hammer, leveler, pliers, you name it, yeah? Everything's here. Alright? So that's how it works, the variation tool, yeah? So obviously, even though I sell multiple items, that's how you sell it. So I'll show you step by step, so very easy, okay? So that's how you do it, really. Very simple, okay? So, I'll show you how to do it now, to list something, a um, single item, and how to sell multiple items as well, okay? So you've got two options there, okay? So, what we're going to do now, is obviously the post in that, anything that's 2 kilo, okay, and the measurements we're looking at 45 centimetres long, and 35 centimetres width, okay, and 16 centimetres depth, okay? So any item like this, it will cost you about 3 quid, okay, Royal, uh, Post Office Royal Mail, and that's it done. Nice and easy, okay? Now, if there's anything more than this, longer, or the you know, width longer as well, or heavier, more than two kilo, the best one to go to, is go to a website, it's called Parcel to Go. Now, these are the cheapest people, delivery people, probably in the world, yeah, they're really cheap, and the best ones either, yeah? Also, whatever you sell on here, or you send on here, sorry, it'll give you a tracking number, which you have to give to your to the buyer, okay? 
So it's nice and easy for you now, see what I mean? So you've got tracking numbers, everything, alright? To reassure them that it's coming, it's been sent, and that's it, alright? So obviously here, very simple, very simple, okay? Anything less than a metre, you just you put in here, yeah? And obviously the weight as well, okay? So again, yeah, anything more than this, 2 kilo, then obviously I'll show you quick. Let's say 2 to 5 kilo, say 5 kilo, yeah? Uh, UK, say it's a metre, or let's we'll say it's more than a metre. There we go. Then it's when you put the, the width for length and all that stuff here, okay? But let's just say for now, less than one meter, okay? Leave that there. So I'm going to show you how cheap it is, alright? Now, two days, you don't need first, uh, first class one day, just these two days, alright? That is how, that's how cheap it is, okay? The price, everything, alright? Now you can do um, drop off or collection. It's up to you, yeah? If it's heavy stuff, then obviously collection is easier. But um, like long stuff, big stuff, then obviously you can take it to the nearest shop and dump it there, drop it off, and then they'll send it for you. Now, I think the best ones I've done before who I deal with is Collect Plus and Hermes. Okay, so Collect Plus obviously, also they can print off the label in the shop, which is so much easier, yeah? So all you do is pack it up. I mean, I suggest go Poundland, it's so cheap. You can buy the plastic bags, I mean, plastic bags like this, you know, to wrap the stuff in. And obviously, um, you need some brown paper, yeah? It's like three, four metres, five metres, that's enough, okay? So wrap it up, set a tape, very simple, okay? Cost you a quid, it's nothing, yeah? It's worth it in the end. Also, bubble wrap as well, yeah? So all this, you know, pound land, probably cost you no more than the fibre. So you've got your post and stuff ready, wrap it up, all done, yeah? Take it to the shop, because obviously here when you do this, it'll, show, it'll tell you what shop that's near you, where you can drop it off, right? And then they'll send it for you, okay? So obviously you only pay for it on here, you know, PayPal, whatever you're doing, how you pay for it, it's all done, they give you an email, confirmation, and you know what shop to go and drop off your parcel, okay? And that's all done, they can print the label in the shop, which is the best thing, yeah? So you go in the shop, um, you, what you do, you get an email with a barcode, okay? Or a scanning barcode thing, yeah, QR code, yeah? Um, you can do it in the shop, or they do it for you, they scan it, print off the label on the machine, and then slap it on the parcel, and then give it to them, they'll send it to the, the buyer, alright? So that's how easy it is, okay? Anything more than 2 kilo or if it's longer or massive or whatever, use parcel to go, okay? Anything smaller or, you know, like less than 2 kilo, then you use post office Royal Mail. You know, it's cheap, I said 3 quid, it's fine. So you've got Hermes, they do the same as well, yeah? Local shop, drop it off. Also, um, they do the print off thing as well, okay? Now, make, make sure though, yeah, is, um, because they've got their own size too, alright? So you've got to be careful though, yeah? So when you see it here, Collect uh, Plus or Hermes, go to more information here, yeah? Because here it will tell you the size, alright? So more info here, scroll down, it will tell you the size here, okay? So that's the one you got to look for, okay? It tells you the maximum length and the height. Now if you just send it anyway, yeah, and it's like more than this, they'll send it still, um, but they'll charge you. Because obviously you made a mistake, yeah? Obviously the weight as well, yeah? So you've got to be careful, yeah? Make sure it's definitely the right size here, okay? If it's not, then go scroll down, it'll give you another one. Um, obviously it'll cost a bit more, but at least it's going to be bigger or the right size for you to send it, alright? So definitely always go for more info, and it'll tell you exactly how how long it's got to be, the width, all that stuff, alright? So they're pretty good, I mean, length, I mean, oh, sorry, the width, sorry, the weight, 10 kilo. It's more than enough, brilliant. And like I said, they are the cheapest one, alright? Obviously go for this one here, don't go for the normal crap. I know it sounds cheap, okay, four quid to send it, but if you lose it, then, you know I mean, you're stuffed. Well, if it's not you, but them lose it, yeah? Because Hermes, yeah, dodgy, I know. But always do the protection thing, yeah? So you're covered, alright? So 20 quid, you're covered, gets lost or damaged, whatever, yeah? And plus you're, you get your postage fee as well back, alright? So, that's pretty much it, really, yeah? I mean... Go for more info and it'll tell you the size, what you need, alright? I mean, they're all different. Hermes too, same. It'll tell you the size, see what I mean, yeah? 1.2 metres, 15 kilo maximum, it's a bit more now. So that's probably better, really, to choose than the other one. Because you've got more of the measurements and more of the weight. You know what I mean, yeah? So, you've got a selection there. And see what I mean, it's cheap, 540. Now, in the post office, if it's more than 2 kilo, then you've got to use parcel force. Now, they are expensive. You're looking at 12 to 25 quid. 
just to send bloody stuff from them. So that's why Password to Go, this website here, is the best. All right, and look at it, five pound forty, five fifty-five. It's cheap. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's got more than enough. Yeah, loads, nice size, and the weight. Look at it, 10, 15 kilo. So this helps a lot. Okay, so at least you know now. Yeah, two kilo or less, and the measurements I showed you. Yeah, tells you that anyway. You know, use them. It'll cost three quid probably. Yeah, but if you're more than that, big measurements or big weight, password to go. All right. So at least you've got two options now, okay? So you covered there now, yeah? So, I hope I've covered everything now. I mean, I've done as much as I can now. I showed you everything. Okay, so, like I said, any questions, let me know. But um, I've sh done it easy, as much as I can and as easy as I can, step by step, how to send stuff on eBay, how to sell it, you know, multiple items or single items. And, uh, yeah, it should be easy now. So, you know, good luck in selling that and, uh, yeah, let me know how you go. All right.